people say the rum's got pudding, as they say. But the this is because, right it's, because, it's because it's how it's written. Yes, the baker always bake. <laughs> Blame, <laughs> <laughs> Blame the eggs, then. Yeah, cool. <laughs> Hi, Dilemma Masters. Check, check. Back in the building. Another episode. Elephant in the Room podcast. Your boy, C6. Your boy, Dizzle, the comedian. Feeling very depressed, people. This is going to be a depressing show, people. I'm not going to be... You say you got holiday blues? Yeah, holiday blues, pinks, red, the whole colour. You say you got the holiday rainbow? Yeah, the holiday <laughs> rainbow. That's me. First thing I want to be got Rumba Clark, because that's all I'm going to be drinking during the show. They sponsored me and sent me... This is my birthday present I came back to. So, we got Rumba Clark. They got Rumba Clark. I'm not drinking right now. You're not even on the drive. Yeah, cool. I don't want no Rumba Clark anyway, man. Yeah, you're driving. So, but yes, people, big up yourself. Big up all of the people that was... There was a lot of people bigging you up, saying happy birthday. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Yeah, officially hit pension age, so big up this. Bro, stop, stop. Just take it, pick it up. <laughs> So for audio listeners, is it yeah, audio <laughs> listeners thinking, what's going on? That was me trying to open this rumba clock, the rumba clock. But yeah, so Dizzle's got holiday blues. Like he's proper been miserable, man. Yeah, I feel miserable. I feel t- I was when when I, when I was when we called, I called him to say, yeah, what ha- what time we're gonna record? He's bare miserable, misery guts, man. I didn't even speak to you. Yeah, but the text was miserable, bro. The text was yeah. miserable. But hold on, you was away for one week, man. Why are you acting like this? Because I I just who you know it is. The first time I went to Egypt, I was like a tourist. Yeah. This time I was like this is local. Local. I had my. Dr- I was everywhere. I was in the downtown, uptown. Yeah. I was all over the gaff. You understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And meeting the people, them, the locals. It was beautiful. I was treated as an Egyptian. Okay. I wasn't treated as a tourist. So, do you know any Egyptian? Did you learn anything? Yeah, I got a friend who's named Omar. <laughs> but did you learn anything? No, I, but um, I learned a lot. Okay. And this time I I went back to the pyramids. Yeah. Because this time I wanted to. I, the last time I went, I was just too gassed to be there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get me? So this time I went in and got some knowledge and. Okay. You get me? It was. It, yeah, this time was. I hope. Did you go with someone local? No. You get diff. You know, there's like when you go to like these kind of historical sites here, if you go with the tour guides, you get one set of history. But if you go with a local, you kind of get a different no, set I went of history. I one driver that tried to take me for a dickhead and I switched. Did oh it? my god! I was switched. The road, the road came to him. I said, "Fam, don't, don't do this." Yeah, I said in England, "I'm not." I'm what you not, say? I'm, but I'm he saw, he saw the foreigner in you. Yeah, yeah, he tried to. Bring, if I didn't go before, yeah. this is taking the piss out of my life. This is taking up all half of the show. Yeah. If I didn't go before, yeah. then he would have got me. Yeah, because I wouldn't be none the wiser. You understand? The man tried. He brought me down into the garrison you know, yeah. of Egypt. No, to- this this is not a tourist place. This is for e- Egyptian people. Mm. The gate where he bought me was quay from the place, mm. and it was it was cut price, but it's for Egyptian people. Mm. You get me? They keep thinking I'm me and Daji. They think I'm You're Egyptian. Egyptian yeah. you look it still. But I tell the man, I said, to, and he bring me. I had to switch. I said, Bridget, are you are you an idiot? I said, you bring me to this garrison where I know, I know the proper place. It's on the hill, blood. Mm. I've been there. I know where I'm going. Don't try to novice me off uh, uh, the way I switch then one of the guys that got me the job was like a, a cabman that a friend up mm. so I messaged him I said what you, what's going on here and I, mm. I was switching so he called the boss man because mm. I know the boss man as well then I could just say my man just talking s- softly in the car softly yeah then, this, then the boss man said, hey, would like to talk to him talk to me the boss man said T- listen the way I just told my man some nasty things mm. I told him I'll come down there rock him up strip him naked <laughs> I make him walk back, <laughs> walk back <laughs> all the way. Yeah. He said, "Right now, anything test you in Cairo, yeah. I'll come down there and everything dead." Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. That's how I was chatting. So, you know? so yeah, but you, yeah, but you know what? That's what happens. I said, "I like it. it. I like." I said, "I like you, boss man." He said, D- "Trust me." He said, "Right now, you're, you're proper now." Yeah, he said, "Right now, you're my bridge, and I've got police from my friend down there with big gun. I'll come down there. Anything flatten." Yeah. You understand? Okay, Don't so worry. That would you good after that? Y- yeah, the driver. Okay. He was a super. Yeah, he was humbled. <laughs> I yeah, felt but, bad. But they, but you know they all listen. This is what he tried is. it though. But but then but, but that's their hustle. Don't hustle like me. in in a way, yeah. Sometimes I feel to myself like, should he just? If we have it, should we just give in to their hustle? You, I tell you what, you see, you know, like you being going to Jamaica, you being a craft market, and they're trying to haggle you, 
and try to add two pound or three pound on yeah. top of this, and then we're like bartering and no, nah, so you can't skank me, you know. But it's three pound. Like, why are we so harsh? No, but it's why don't we just why don't we just know? Okay, <laughs> listen, I see what you're doing, but yeah, it's no, just no, 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 because I realize there's there's a price, there's shops, there's for tourists, yeah, 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 mad prices. And there's a shop for Egyptian with the same things. In yes, there. for cheaper. But you, oh but you God. have, but you have that. When I went to the Egyptian, I got the, I, I go to the Egyptian shops now. Yeah, like full of that. It is, and it's like seven pounds. Yeah, but you go to the tourist Mad. thing. To- you know. One thing is seven pounds. <laughs> but hold on, but you do the same though. Do you, you've got, you've got a, a price for people. No, I don't. Bro, so if somebody, if 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 somebody called you and said, listen, I want you for this All right, big, that's different. big Arab wedding to come and run some joke. And you know, my, my my uncle's a sheikh from Dubai, and he's coming up. But they want your comedian. You're not charging them the comedian money that you're gonna charge Punky. I will. You, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I said I will. <laughs> you can't even. You can't even say it with a straight face. Sometimes we just gotta. Get, you know what? Like I know what you're trying to do, but so I always let them know. I say, listen, I'm not an idiot, but I'll pay you. But don't run, don't do the eat it. You thing. are eat it then. No, because I've got the money. Why am I gonna why am I gonna haggle with the people them that are struggling? I'm not struggling. Sometimes you just gotta just say, I see what you're doing, but you're doing it the wrong way. So hey, well, I'm still hold this anyway. And that's about this thing. Cause I was gonna give my man some money, mm. the driver, because mm. I know he, I know their wage trying, I know mm. he's just driving me. He's not mm. the money I'm paying is not he's not getting a pound out of it. Mm. You get me? And even though he done that, I still gave him money at the end. So you're eat it then? No, I'm a good you. So what's the difference between me and you then? <laughs> You're just a <addicted>. dickhead. <laughs> I just couldn't, oh. I, that wouldn't sit with me knowing that, you know, even though he was a pussy mm. I'm not going to be a pussy yeah, Do you yeah. know what I mean? I hear you. I hear I you. Wanna be, and I would, I, it would have bound me not to give him, mm. even so, though they're struggling. So we're saying, is, so Egypt's your place now, yeah? It's my place, bro. Yeah, yeah. Once you get over the mosquitoes, though, oh God. You know what? My oh, friend went to Egypt years ago now. and he, the, him and his missus went and they both got Egypt belly. Cause you know there's a there's a few places in the world where they, you get bad belly. Egypt, yeah. Bali, um, but it, India they got Delhi belly. Yeah, they got Bali belly, and um, I can't remember what they called it. But yeah, in Egypt they also like because that the food the way they do the food the hygiene is, is mad. And and that's what someone said. I was talking to someone yesterday and they said yeah. like everybody knows he knows that gone to Egypt come back with bad belly, mm. and I had bad belly. But <laughs> <laughs> I do want to rub it out like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not that it wasn't bad, belly. It's just I had the shits. Yeah, you just got to get used to. It. I think I don't know if it's the first time I was belly was alright, but I don't know this time. This, I don't know. Yeah, you because eat because you say you eat with the locals, so you got to deal with the locals. No, no, I, the locals. If I it was the hotel food when I eat at a road, I'm getting proper food. Yeah, but I don't know if it's about. I don't know if it's necessarily that they're not clean. I guess it's, it's sometimes like it's, it's just the the spices they use, the yeah, oils the, they yeah, use. Yeah, yeah, it's probably different. But like when we went Ghana, yeah, me and my son, I took my son Ghana, and we both we had the shits, man, and. We've got the one liquor hotel, yeah. It's got one toilet in it. But obviously, I'm the dad in it, so you go. Okay. No, you go. Like, oh. I can't make... Like, I can control myself a bit better than a minute. The little youth's in there. Barling. Oh, I don't like it. Uh, this, he was young now. I would take the piss out of him now, but he was barling. His belly was burning him. He said, it's just not stopping. It's not stopping. <laughs> and it's mad, but I think anywhere you go... You kind of experience stuff like that, but I'd never experienced it in Jamaica. But my thing is, so I big up the yard. That his belly was hurting him, but it wasn't. He never had the shits. Mm. You know, not because we went to, um, twice to eat mm. and he he couldn't eat. Okay, but it wasn't he didn't have the shits <laughs> as that. Okay, me, I had, I had anything I eat, it was coming up with water, water, and that, I, and it was the day I had to go Cairo. And that, that, that tour long journey. Giant. Oh my god! <laughs> you and and I'm, and I'm, I'm belly a bubble. No, cause all the night I'm, I'm making sure my bottom, everything empty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. scared. You get me? At yeah. the, so we stop off at the, at the at one, at, you know, when you stop at the mm. coffee shop thing, and the people, he, he said, Do you "Want the food?" I'm thinking, "No, I'm not risking. I don't know food. I've got Chris." I'm thinking, "You get me?" Then I said, "Shall me get a hot chocolate?" <laughs> That's hot chocolate. That's the water, bro. Like you're going mad. That's the milk and the water. You went mad. Man, man's trying to be safe. I say, like, give me some dairy. Give me some camel milk and, and, the, and the water that we're not supposed to drink. Give me that. You fucking idiot. That comes straight out, innit? You have to stop, stop, driver, drive, one stop, driver. You're a joker. 
You know when a man makes stupid decisions? Man says, I'm really trying to be good. Oh my Give me a hot chocolate. That don't make no sense, bro. Is it? Lactose. Na- now I know it don't make no sense. <laughs> I said, I'm just being sensible. Just leave it there. Let's leave it. Let's leave yeah, the story right, there. Cool. Let's leave it there, man. Let's leave it there. Let's leave it there. Let's leave it there. Yeah, that was that what's, really your, what's your plans for Christmas? Christmas is around the I corner. I want to go bro. away. You want to go away? You yes. I re- you know, I really was contemplating going to Jamaica for New Year's, you know. No, Jamaica's not a holiday. Not, not even necessarily for the cartel thing, you know, but I've been contemplating it recently. Only a cartel's concert? Yeah. yeah. The, the, I've seen, the, I've the seen practice. How do you feel that's going? With the practice? <laughs> it looks so <laughs> the thing the is... The practice is anything to go by. <laughs> The thing is, you see he's 30 seconds of his practice or 20 seconds of it. And touch and a, just touch a button. <laughs> but you know what? I feel like concerts nowadays, yeah, are like just people singing back. You know, like you go to a concert, the artist says <coughs> two words and the crowd sing the rest of your song. So like, I don't feel he's going to struggle as much as people think. You no, know? you know what it is? And if he's willing to you know take a is seat. why he might struggle? Yeah. Because remember, that man's got enough tune in him. Brother. He was saying they they, they was bro. He's, he he can't go through this whole catalog. There, there you go. It will drop down. His tune. He he can't do every he's got more song. More tunes than Michael Jackson. He's got more tunes than most people. He's got. <laughs> I, I, you know, what I did the other day. I went through my laptop in it and I put the, the cartel. And I've got seven hundred songs. The cartel. And you ain't got all of them. And I don't have all of his songs. There you go. And and the majority of the seven hundred are bangers. The majority. He's got some shit songs. Yeah, but have, the majority of the seven. He used, to, he used to have a tune on a rhythm and then someone else would do a bad piece on the rhythm. Then he'd go back and do another piece on the rhythm. So yeah. most of the rhythms when he was really flying, he's got two pieces on. To be fair. He's bad. A gal version and a bad man version yeah. on, on both rhythm, on the same yeah. rhythm. Both versions. Yeah, he, yeah, he's, he's bad. His he's, he's, he's so works are untouchable. He's, he's like a victim of his own success. Because not everybody's yeah. going to hear, the, hear the tune that they... That they think is their best tune. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If, you got, if you like an obscure cartel, you're not hearing it. You don't like a tune like, um, yeah, if you like a tune that's big, but just not, not, not fever. My big. tune, my boss begun them whenever me like. Yeah, yeah, you might not hear that. But uh, no, but you, to be fair, you would, because in that, in that era, that was one of his top tunes. That was a top yeah, tune. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a top, top, yeah, top, yeah, top, yeah. top, top tune. Any blood clot day that, that plays now. That plays now. Yeah. Up to today. And that's I a got whole that on, tune I got now. that on dub plate. Swear down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You say, so you know the gravity of yeah, that yeah, tune. That tune's bad. That's, that, mad. that's not gonna done. That's, that's a mad. smart move. Because one of them tunes that that plays now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a big tune. But the, the thing is with that, yeah, that that era was when that was when it started. The music started getting a bit dark. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, no, it was because it, it was dark times. Yeah, it was a, the dark. No, it was dark, dark times. So, so that music only certain dances played them kind not of tune. Them thing that it was it was relatable because. Every man was to own their own thing. From yeah, the, yeah, I'm yeah. telling you, it was a trend. Them, them my, my tune, that tune sank into. You get me? You wouldn't know. Yeah. Could use my favorite. Yeah, my favorite cartel is him. Well, not my favorite, but oh, like one that I really like is no nah, man. Him and Javinci on the day rave rhythm. Oh, what is I want to play it. I'm gonna play it. Guys, I'm saying no. my place are my place. Your place are your place. I'm gonna play it. And put up cartel tray. <laughs> and put up what? Cartel getting ready for the for the concert. <laughs> yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll put the. Tra- yeah, now I think yeah, it's man. gonna be alright, but yeah, that's not really my my motive. I just kind of want to have a chill out. I actually want to take a little time and chill. I was having a chat with my brother who's moving to Dubai, and I was thinking I could do with living out of this country for a bit. <coughs> I know, man. I could really do with it. And the other thing is, Egypt is cool. You reckon you could live in Egypt? Yeah, and I could. I want to learn Arabic because Egypt is not just for for the um, living, but because of I'm studying Egyptology, so it brings me right back. I think I'm from Egypt, <laughs> one of my reincarnations. Do, 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 what other language do they speak in Egypt? Um, just Arabic. They can't just speak Arabic. Russian. Well, they have to have a native language. They have to. Russian. Russian? Were they were they col- were they colonized by Russia? 
I don't know, but every, the, 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 that's why Russia goes there. Everybody speaks so if Russian. If you're studying Egyptology, like you said, you must have some understanding of who who their colony, who colonized them, who, who why they, what language do they speak, what's Greeks, their native. Remember when the um, when the Romans took over um, Cleopatra, and then Alexander the Great yeah, came yeah. in, so and they named so, so it Alexandra. So part of so what do they? Egypt. So what do they speak? Lao me in it. <laughs> okay. All right. No, but you know when a man comes in that big, I'm studying. That. Look over here, you got the, you got the unk and you got the, you got, you got the all of the things. Them, yeah, pyramids and one bag of things. I said I'm studying. <laughs> tell me, tell me something. Allow me, man. Sure, I'll study your mumma. I said, yeah, fine, all right, I will. But yeah, um, but yes, um, they got all of the people them that have ordered their t-shirts, as you can see right here. Form, you know, yeah, we're modeling yeah. the t-shirts, what we're doing here. We've got um can I say something to you? Yeah. We've got um Nata Pussy T. Yeah, coming to you. And what's the next one we got? There's one more. Um I can't remember. It's one of your sayings. Nata Pussy T, can I say something to you? Oh, and then don't inveigle me. We've got yeah, 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 don't yeah, inveigle yeah. me, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, if you grab your t-shirts, there's um you can just simply the link is right here. I'm gonna put the link right, yeah, so it's floating along the screen. Get your t-shirts, put your orders in. How are we going to do it? Yeah, just so you got a bit of understanding. We have, we are getting all the orders in, and then we're going to do one big order, and we're going to drop them all off. So it's, we're going to order. So order before the fifth of December, and they're going to be made and sent out on the Monday, the ninth of November, and everybody will receive them. That's it. One big order. It's not ongoing. So get your orders in before the fifth of December. That is your deadline. All right. If you want the merch. Before the fifth of December, it's floating along here. www.c6.com because it's never gonna float. It is floating. www.c6.com. And what about the journey? How's the journey going? It's good. Grab your yeah. tickets from the same link. I'm gonna be there, ladies. But as you know, that I'm off the market, unfortunately. Oh God! <laughs> They're so upset. Read They're so fling it. I'm not flinging my good. Fling your good, good up phone, man. See it now. Look, oh, I thought it was a pen. All right, man said, Hi, Dilemma Masters. Hey, the Dilemma Masters. No, nah, I don't want to be called that, but anyway, cool. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Hi, got, Dilemma you got, Masters. We got a brainwave. No, you know what it is, though. It's, it's, it's actually nice being like a bit Associate. of an agony uncle, like where we get to help people. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? But people have been calling me in my personal life, like, Yo, let me run something by you. See, yeah. <laughs> Like they value what we gotta say. Do you yeah. know what I mean? So so yeah, big uh, I do respect it. So if you want your dilemma read out so by us. Some people give you coming to you for free advice now. No, but this is what I'm saying. I wanna tell them right now what you gotta do. If you want subscribe. To you gotta subscribe, yeah. And send it. So we've got we've got people that have sent us in the DMs on, on the the Instagram. We've got people that have messaged on YouTube. Yeah, and then we've got people that have just like come into my own personal DMs asking for stuff. So keep them coming and also make sure you keep hitting up Dizzle the same way. Don't hit um, me up. No, but. No. But, but. Uh -uh. What if. No? No, no, no? Not even. What if they really need help? Nothing. I big up Lewis, yeah. There's a listener called Lewis, yeah. Who originally. Remember I told you a couple of years ago, like, he, he called and asked for some advice. He was going through something. He. And um, he called me for some advice. He got he, he messaged me, asked me if, if I could call him. He gave me his number, said, look, I really need some advice. So I called him and we had a chat. And he was going through a lot. You know, he, Hi, Dilemma Masters. My partner and I lived together for two years. He has a seven-year-old son he sees once a month um, for the weekend. And I always have to be there. Whoa. As he reckons. Hold on. I'm reading like you now. <laughs> The, the, I'm not gonna lie. No, I saw, and I saw it. And I'm said, not gonna lie. I'm not doing this. You read it and thought, yeah. Because, <laughs> yeah, you, you know what? I saw it. I said, I'm not doing this. Brother, you know, I'm not I, doing I, this. I swear, sometimes, yeah, punctuation is so important. And you know what's crazy, yeah? A lot of people can't write. A lot of people can't write. We take advantage that the fact we speak English, but you can't read it or write it. And that is crazy. Anyway. Speaking for yourself. I'm, but I can write and read. You but can't. Clearly, you can't. The proofs in the rascal are pudding, as they say. But the this is because, right it's because, it's because it's how it's written. Yes, the baker always bakes. <laughs> Blame <laughs> the eggs, them. Yeah, cool. <laughs> Hi, Dilemma Masters. My partner and I live together. 
for two years. He has a seven-year-old son he sees once a month for the weekend. And I always have to be there, he reckons. It's to get close to the son. Yeah, mm, I understand that. He decided it, He decided to bring him on our first holiday together. Lovely. Because <laughs> <laughs> if, if I get to watch him bring that picture, that's not a holiday. It's different me. though. If you if you if you got with a girl and she only sees her son once a month, then don't be like that. It's just like once a month, like it's bonding. Why she can't see her son for once a month? No, because you we're just putting it in reverse. No, we need to find out that as well. Okay, don't. <laughs> yes, right, I'm not picking. I'm getting right, there. All right, cool. He decided to bring him on our first holiday together. When we got there, he met up with some mates, and he <laughs> we basically did not see him until it was time to go. I was fuming, but did not want to spoil his son's holiday. So when we got back, I moved out. Wow, okay. He is now remorseful and begging me to come back. I'm in two minds as I was. Um, I was in two minds. Was I over dramatic? Um, I do miss his son. We are really close. She Ooh. moved out. Do you have autism? <laughs> Who, me? <laughs> do I have autism? Did you not understand it? Shall I read it again? <laughs> man said do you have autism you are a fish of all fishes hi dilemma masters my partner and i lived together for two years he has a seven-year-old son Mm -hmm. he sees on the weekends yeah he sees once a month for the weekend yeah yeah (coughs) and i always have to be there as he reckons they can get close yeah she has he has to be there she he reckons the the husband says the, the boyfriend says that he wants the girlfriend there at all times when the sun's there so that okay. they can get close, yeah? Okay, cool. That's nice. Yeah. Okay, cool. He decided to bring him on our first holiday together. So they haven't been on holiday together. They've gone on holiday. They brought, he, the, the boyfriend has brought his son on their holiday. You understand? He's trying to build a little family unit. Yeah, he's basically. Cool. All right, cool. When we got there, he met up with some mates and basically we did not see him until it was time to go it's back. Me. The boy, the son and the girl. <laughs> <laughs> The son and the girl. You can't leave out the little content. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The son and the girl. So, so like, never, never kicked with the son. It was nah, so he, he, with the son. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So the man then. And so said, yo, listen, you man, I'll see him forward. Yeah. Two weeks later. Yeah, good. All right, cool. I was fuming, but did not want to spoil his son's holiday. So she's being selfless. Yeah, she didn't. So she makes the son. Make, yeah, she's saying, cool, to the I'm, pool. I'm upset, but get what? Yeah, we're here. Little now. man's here. I'm going to deal with him. He's yeah. only seven. Yeah. All right, cool. So she didn't want to spoil his son's holiday. So when we got back, I moved out. A bit dramatic. That's what I think. Then it says here, he is now remorseful and begging me to come back. I'm in two minds. Was I over dramatic? Yes, she was. I do miss his son as we are now really close. Yeah, it was so the holiday has obviously put them even closer. It, but do you think she was over dramatic to move out? Dramatic. Really? Yes, yeah, she was. Moving out is a lot. That's what I'm saying. It's a lot. Imagine you give a bond. <laughs> you say, move out for that. Jeez, if you knew what I was really doing. <laughs> Trust me, if you move for that, I'm not going to make her go on. Because yeah. you move out for that, better you go on. Yeah, yeah. Like, no, that's nothing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you don't know what I go on, upon what I go on. If you find out. Isn't it? She too moving. They're going to jump off my bridge. No, she, 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 that's red flags anyway. That she just moved out. Yeah. She's yeah. a movie movie. <laughs> she's a mover yeah she the moving out thing is mad <laughs> but like w- firstly this means to me like that's they, toxic she's toxic where do they go on holiday for him to just meet up with the man then it doesn't matter that's no no I'm just saying think about it let's I'm think even about thinking it. about it no listen, bro, listen no. See, that's, that's, see my no. will go with mad girl no 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 no, no. I'm, I'm, what I'm trying to do is think about I'm just thinking about this dilemma I'm thinking about and I'm everything. thinking about the dilemma and I'm thinking about the girl who wrote it she's toxic okay but listen I'm not taking nothing away from that. Yes, she's crazy for moving out. That's just a big over dramatic statement. Yes. But I'm thinking of this guy now. Yeah, He sees his son once a month mm-hmm. yeah, for the weekend and he makes sure his girl is there. Then he's gone on holiday, foreign country, boom, and just left them. No, no let's uh, deal with he, him he, now. He, now yeah. He's a pussy old. Yeah, definitely a pussy old. Punani. Not worth breaking up though. No, it's not worth breaking up, but you're Punani. Watch, you're put, what, no, you've, she, you've discovered that he can't say, he, he, he's a friend friend. He's no, a no, friendly no. guy. No, no, no. she come back, she come back and cuss out his ras. She used to cuss out his ras there? Yeah, and make, put him in his place and make him see himself. You understand? Because right, right. he was like a good dad. 
but he just lost himself. Sometimes we need to ride the sauce. We don't need you to move out. We need you to, yeah. to slap in our heads. That, that's what women are there for. Sometimes they give us a slap in our head. The moving out thing, yeah, and the, the breaking up and all these things that people wild. do, it's, it's wild. And I think sometimes, the things I've heard people breaking up over, because I say something to you. That's a, what. That's a, she's she's gonna be. She's a breakup woman. That's her. That's her forte. Could, what about if it triggered her? Then, then you then you need to be a fucking gun. <laughs> yeah, you need to be a gun. Yeah, no, because you know, like to to be honest, yeah, I don't know. It's definitely not worth just the, the moving out and the the breaking she's up. Nuts. It's definitely not worth that. But there is there's always there's always something behind it. Do you get what I'm saying? That the issues. Could, uh, something. Could be something. Then whatever the fuck it is, you gotta still do it yourself. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. But that's what I'm saying. It's so sometimes, but sometimes, move, sometimes, it's best that you break up because you know what? You might not have been in. You might not have been in yes. the right place to yes. be in a relationship. Yes, yes, yes. You see what I'm saying? So, 100%. but she's definitely over dramatic, and that's what some men seem to um, deny that none of these women are red flags. Yeah, they are. They're red flags. That they wave in front of you, but because of the punani and our dick. We 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 are colorblind. <laughs> we just see a flag waving. Is but that we can't flag? see the color. Isn't it? <laughs> what color is that? Uh, White flag. So yeah. you know the way there. It's I red, bro. You. I hear you. We have we have we have a lot of um I was thinking, yeah. I was thinking the other day. Oh, what yeah, is that's, that's a surprise. That I was thinking. Yeah, I <laughs> mad. But I, I was thinking, what is it, yeah, that makes people just give up on relationships? Social media. No, because it's been happening way before social, social media. Social media is brother way before social media. No. So everybody's relationship was perfect before yes. social media. Yes, it was. Oh, there's beautiful. people with the single families have been forever, bro. What what is it that makes people that is not anybody in you, the gen, your generation started this shit? Your generation started this shit. You know what it is, yeah. Your your mum's generation, yeah, mm-hmm. and your granny them, yeah. Long term relationships, oh, this that, yeah, big buy up a house, do this like like bill in it, they bill. Then your generations just messed it up. I and don't say my generation. I don't want to feel you under the bus seats, but you've been in more breakups than a Kit Kat. <laughs> <laughs> I've been in less breakups than you. I've been in less breakups than you. That's what makes it. This is what makes it mad. I just been in a more committed relationship than you, but I've had bro. Listen, you've broken more hearts than how? me. How? Hundred percent. Oh, listen, I've got. I've got hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You're a DJ. Hold on, I got four children with two women. You're a you DJ. have twelve children. You're a with DJ. Thirteen women. You're a DJ. That's what you do. That's that's, that's what he does. It's part and parcel. You can't be a DJ successful as yours and not break off your hearts, brother. You're you 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 are the funny guy. And they say funny gets funny. You've been getting DJ, funny. Yeah, but DJ you've been getting funny after these comedy DJs. shows. This is why you hanker, hanker. DJs. This is why you're always there to the end because you're DJs. cleaning up. DJs. Anyway, listen, I'm not taking this gal. propaganda. I'm not taking this propaganda. This, this, you, look at this face. I'm not taking this shit. <laughs> DJs get gal. Anyway, let's just saying about that. <laughs> saying about that. This is being silly. <laughs> I'm being silly. Being silly. I was thinking, what is it about relationships here? Yeah, why people give up so easy? Now I've given up relationships. I've given up even before I relationship start. So first because, time, why well, don't you explain them? Because yeah, because I'm seeing things, yeah, before they start, and I'm saying I'm not willing to get into this because it's gonna get silly. Do you get that what I'm comes saying? With age though. You see, you see, you're seeing someone, That's and then some like, get silly, and it's like you know what? I, this will be silly. We're gonna we're gonna put us. This is just gonna be a long battle ahead. We're gonna struggle. Do you get what I'm saying? Now that that might mean me, I need to work on some stuff. It might mean she needs to work on some stuff. But either way, we're not as compatible as we once thought. But see them type of relationships mm. where you can get in and out. They're the ones that you need before anything, and they're the ones that show you as a person what you're willing to settle for, and what you're not willing to settle for, and what you really want to settle for, and what you need to change into yourself. Do you get what I mean? With bad these bad experiences, they're not bad things, bad experiences mm. enlighten you mm. to to think, you know what? I thought I want something like that. I don't. Do you know what I mean? With mm. It's it's to, for you to think to, okay, so if you find yourself mm. mostly, they are people they can't change. They, who they are. Mm. But it's what you want to settle for. Mm. Yeah, yeah, or, or that's or the thing, that, that settling, that again, we got to change that. That's something we're not supposed to do. No, but what we're supposed to do is what we're going to do. Ex- accept in it because settling means that you're, you're that's your minimum. Like if I give you 
an option and you settle for something, that means you've taken the lowest option. Yeah. He wasn't happy with it. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? So we got to try and look at... Like, but some people settle with, with... Sometimes it's not that deep where they're giving up, they're selling their thing. Sometimes they're, they're, they're realising, you know what, this is me. Because mm. sometimes people set their standards so high that yeah. they're part of their Some people have unrealistic standards, of Yeah, course. everybody has And that. then therefore it's not settling. If you have an unrealistic standard, then and you, you anything below that is settling. It's not really settling. That's you with your warped mindset. But my point is... My point is, I do feel like there's a lot of people give up stuff in it. Now, I've been in this myself, so I, I, I again, I'm talking from a little bit of history. But what, why, what is it that you think that makes people give up? And you know, a lot of people in younger ages, yeah, they give up thinking that they can just walk into something new tomorrow. Mm -hmm. They can just walk into something new tomorrow. There'll be a man waiting for her. There'll be a woman. But it doesn't is. work like that. That's not how the world but works. There is, but it doesn't mean that the person's for you. There is a new person. No, it's like there's a new yeah, day, yeah. but it doesn't mean the new day is going to be good for you. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, there's always yeah, going to yeah. be... Some yeah, yeah. Day, but it doesn't mean it's so some. Good. Yeah, this is what I'm saying. So we, we're like, how? When, when do we start to learn as a people? When do we start to learn from other people's mistakes? When do we start saying, you know what, my mum... When do, how do, when do we break the curse? We don't do that. that and that's the thing we don't do. And that's the thing that's not going to happen. Everybody has to go through. It's like with your picnic. You tell them this because we've been through that. They still have to learn their yeah, but way. You, but you have learned from from other people. Yeah, but you still there's things the there's, way. there's things that No, there's things that I would, I've seen other people. Listen, I would never take crack because <laughs> of what I see crack in. No, bro, I'm serious. On, that's, that's, no, I know it sounds silly, but no, listen. But that's not a hard one. No, it's not because people take crack every day. That's There's them. a new crackhead every day. Even though you can see crackheads. <laughs> if you can see that crackheads are crazy, yeah? Uh, you want a cheeseburger? You know, like, you know. No, but can I say something? If you can you? see that and it's in front of no, you, but, pe people are... Brother. No, but remember, people don't think that's them. Everybody it's believes exactly. that they're not that person. Well, exactly. So when do you start to learn from other people? Some people take it and think, no, that don't happen to me. Yeah, but when do you, you start to learn? That? When do we learn as a people? Listen, we got teenage pregnancy from a from a mum that was a teenage mum. When did you learn from your mum? Your mum struggled. Your life was, your your from naught to five was a struggle but, for you. But, in, but I'm here now and I'm all right. So my kid will come out and be all right like how I did. You, have a you see the mentality? There's got to be. There's got to be. Listen, my, my parents broke up. Their parents broke up. You know what? I'm going to do this right. What are they living in? What program did you watch? I'm asking. As, not, not I'm, asking the real world. I'm asking, when do we as a people start to I'm make better you, what decisions? What program did you watch? Bro, I said I was thinking. Oh, you, can you, you not have an idea? Can you not think you about... Me then? Can you not think about... You went deep into your thoughts. Can you not think about a time where life was would be better... And like how it would be better as a, as a people, and so you just want your son to have twelve youths, like you got twelve. D youths. Don't do that. I'm just saying. No, do you, do you just want your son to have twelve? Realm. Realm. No, I'm saying. Do you want him to just have twelve youths and just be like you? Do you want him to be if like? That's you? his destiny. Everybody, you can't run from destiny. <laughs> destiny. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna rule my destiny. What's my phone, you Jack? Do you oh. want him to be like you? Yeah. In all ways. No, don't be silly. He has to be the better version of me. He has to be. That's, oh. that's a no-brainer. So you saying that, you get me? Anyway, hi, my generals. I have a problem. My daughter is getting married in four weeks' time. And the thing is, she invited her current partner, my babe mother. No one... Yeah? My babe mom, but No one who I am still dealing with I'm hold, a on, babe hold, mother. On, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's the autism passed over. <laughs> yes, read this. Because <laughs> no, 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 I've been drinking. No, read it, I've read it. Drinking. No, you started so well. Shut you the started, fuck up. <laughs> you started so well. Bro. It's gone, it's gone. <laughs> oh, shit. What do I do? All right, cool. Which one? All right. All right, yeah, cool. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, time now. <laughs> I'm a general. This one ain't even, this one ain't even big. What's wrong with you? I'm a general. I have a problem. My daughter is getting married in four weeks' time. The thing is, she invited my current partner, my baby mother, number one, who I am still dealing with, and baby mother, number two, who I'm still dealing with. Oh, shit. So this is a man. His yeah. daughter's getting married, and she's invited his two baby mothers. Mm -hmm. right, cool. I can't tell her to uninvite them as her brothers and sisters are part of the wedding. How do I manoeuvre the situation without getting caught? Man spelt caught like caught. 
Yeah. C O U R T. Because he's going to end up in court. Yeah. So, but you see what I'm saying? This is this is what people. This is what we got to go through. Not court as in court. That's court as in Babylon. Yeah. I won't actually be arriving with any of them. <laughs> they are making their own way to the wedding. You know what, bro? Let me tell you what you got to do, yeah? Check, check. Hey, listen, people, make sure you get yourself what we're doing here. Um, we've got Nata Pussy Teeth. We've got, can I say something to you? And we've got Don't Inveigle Me. Jump online, grab them right now, all right? Don't waste no time. Jump on right now and grab them, all right? Get your merch. We're doing it one time. I think it's from, as I said, the last date to order is December the 5th and we're gonna sh ship them out on december the 9th and that's it a one-time order only all ship right them out. i know you said ship them out no i never said shit i said ship all right <laughs> you're the one that's been doing the shitting bro with your with wife for that hmm hmm instinct you see all right people peace Yo, people, listen, make sure you check out us on Patreon. That's www.patreon.com forward slash elephant in the room. Make sure you sign up. It's only three pounds a month. You get to watch the full episode. All right, because you can see we've just cut the episode short in it. So if you want to watch the full episode, jump onto Patreon. You're also going to get some exclusive content over there. You're also going to be the first dips on anything that we're doing. You're going to be the first person or the first set of people that can get tickets and they're going to have the opportunities. All right, so jump over to Patreon and make sure you follow us and you keep it elephant in the room, all right? So join us over on Patreon and peace.